This week, we highlight another life well lived. On June 3, 1959, the very first class of cadets graduated from the newly established Air Force Academy. Among them, a future pioneer of space travel named Carol Bobko. Bobko grew up in New York, the son of parents who ran a beverage distribution company. After graduating from the Air Force Academy, he trained as a fighter and test pilot, later serving in the Defense Department's Manned Orbiting Laboratory Program, an early effort to develop reconnaissance satellites and a space station. When that program was canceled in 1969, Bobko, who went by Bo, was transferred to NASA right around the time Neil Armstrong and Buzz Aldrin were making their historic walk on the moon. After working on a variety of NASA initiatives over the years, including the joint Apollo-Soyuz project with Soviet cosmonauts, Bobko finally got his chance to travel into space. Three, two, one, zero, and liftoff of the Orbiter Challenger. Houston copies. On April 4, 1983, he piloted the first mission of the shuttle Challenger, the same spacecraft that would explode tragically three years later with seven different crew members on board. Bobco also was the commander of the shuttle Discovery on a mission in April of 1985, and then of the shuttle Atlantis just six months later, making him the first person to travel to space on three different shuttles. Bobco retired from NASA in 1988 and worked on aerospace in the private sector. In 2011, he was named to the U.S. Astronaut Hall of Fame. Carol Bo Bobco, a legend of American space travel, died two weeks ago at home in Half Moon Bay, California. He was 85 years old. Hey, thanks for watching. Don't miss the Today Show every weekday at 11 a.m. Eastern, 8 Pacific on our streaming channel, Today All Day. To watch, head to today.com slash all day or click the link right here.